Yeah, so I'm here with Thomas. Do you want to just give like a brief description of yourself? Yeah, um, my name is Thomas Hong. Uh, I'm a short track speed skater. I'm currently on the US, US short track national team um, through US Speed Skating, which is the governing body. And well, I'm taking a break from school, but I went to the University of Maryland for one, one year. It's thrilling. Yeah. It's really exciting. Like passing with five people on the ice, yeah. four or five people on the ice at very high speeds on yeah. a really small track. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, it is. Um and it's crazy how close you guys get. Like you're like inches away from their hip. But like, yeah. It's crazy. There's a lot of contact, <laughs> even though it's not supposed to be a yeah, contact yeah, sport. Yeah, yeah. Um it's exciting, it's thrilling, it's a sport where you have to work hard. Like, you can be super, like, there are definitely people that are naturally talented, so yeah. it comes easier to them, but still, to pass certain thresholds, you have to put in the work, and that that's just such a rewarding feeling when you work hard and you see it pay off. Um, come back to the negative. Last year, I was able to make the World Cup team for the, made the fall selection World Cup team, and that was a huge accomplishment because it was my first time making the team. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I didn't make the second team, the, the second round of selections in, yeah. in January. Um, and, you know, that was kind of like, I was so close, but because I was back at home training with my, like, uh, hometown team and not with, like, the elite athletes, there was only, like, so much I can really push myself. And that was kind of the moment where I, I decided I need to be out and really prepare myself correctly. So it's almost like not making that second, uh, like second trials mm -hmm. was like, that was, that was, that was like failing to make that team was like, okay, I gotta change something. Yeah, that was, I mean, I think even before then my mindset was, oh, I have to go out to Utah, I eventually go out there, but just failing to make, Make that, make that team yeah it was it definitely pushed me out the door a little bit yeah that, that there's always something to learn from every, everybody I think yeah just because everybody's bodies are different and yeah, everybody yeah. absorbs technique differently yeah so it's I find it interesting to see other people's technique and see how they put together like how to cross over and do straightaways and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. if someone else is doing something that I think is that they're doing and it works and it's better than mine I'll try to replicate it somehow yeah. There's, I mean, I've to get to this point, I've definitely had to like learn from a lot of skaters. Okay, gotcha. So you're just, you're not just learning from the coach. You're just learning from yourself and other skaters too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Also, like sometimes there's foul play. Uh, obviously, like if there's like enough foul play in a race, there's there's gonna be disqualifications. But sometimes, like even though someone else is disqualified, it can completely like eliminate your race so say that like in a final like someone is leading yeah and then the person in seconds getting desperate and it um, makes a uh, makes a bad move and it takes number one out well yeah number two will get disqualified but the person who was leading up, up to that right point of the race like they just got uh, they just got their shots at a medal or a gold medal specifically like taken away so I mean the unpredictability of it is not the, the greatest thing ever but I mean that just comes with the sport and I think all all skaters just accept it and learn to like be strong enough that they can expect the unexpected what would you consider success for you Ooh, that's hard mm, I think I think that answer changes day by day because at this point in my development, I just, yeah, at this point in my development, I don't, I don't want to look at it long term. Like, I just want to do well this season. Hmm. I have certain goals for myself. Like, I, I, even if it's being a part of it, really, I want to win an international medal. And if I do it individually, that's even better. Actually, I want to win an individual medal this season. Um, and then, obviously, the next goal after that is the Winter Olympics. But that to to make the Winter Olympics. But I think I think just 
the, the word success just depends on how I feel and how I'm progressing, honestly. Okay. Because at this point, I, I feel like I have much more development to, to do and just to skate better, you know? So it's hard to say. Like, it's, I don't want to be over ambitious and overreach and then not be able to get, uh, not be able to reach my goals. So, yeah, I think one big word you threw in there was like progress, right? Yeah. You know, and I know you've only been here for two months, but have you feel like you progressed within that two months? Yes. So, you know, that's the kind of word you use. So, when you say that, like, even the two months, you've kind of had success, right? Yes. Because, you know, it's like the reason why you moved here in the bigger picture was 2018 Olympics. Mm-hmm. But I feel like when I asked you about what is it, what, what will be considered success, you didn't really talk about that. You, you were talking about much shorter term goals. Mm-hmm. Um, I think success is more of a mindset. Yeah. If you, if you, I, I personally can't view like my, like I, I just don't want to view my like skating career as a, as a failure if I don't make the Olympic team. You know, I think that's a very negative mindset and I just don't want to do that to myself. Okay. At the end of it, like I just need to, like, I, I love what I do, I work hard, but I need to be happy and it, and if I can do that, I find that a like, success. Uh, yeah. And part of it's like, just because skating is such an individual sport, like your mentality, yeah. like how, how you have yourself, like how you view yourself in your own head, is a huge part. Like if you're going to practice and you're not having fun, you're not, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think you're getting better. Like I, I think like if someone, even if they're at the top of their game, if they're like learning something and they're enjoying learning about the sport, yeah. like they'll just have a much healthier approach to this, like to training and respond to the training better. And that's like, that's just the way I, I view it. I've definitely had like bouts where I, you like had training like you training in an unhealthy way and wasn't progressing yeah but i don't know just taking taking it slow and and not getting really too frustrated about like my my uh my disappointments but then like like just looking on the positive side like i think overall it just makes me look forward to training harder so i'd like to shout out your company, I guess, point B. <laughs> <laughs> point B performance. Yeah. It's it's starting out, you know? Yeah. And I wish you the best of luck for yeah, that. For sure. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Peace from Utah.